Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and here at the Zix TV, we love portable gaming consoles. Dating all the way back to the 90s and the Sega Game Gear, which is one of my favorites. And I am very happy with these portable gaming consoles, the Atari Flashback Portable. We're going to check out both of these. This is the 2017, new for 2017. Atari Flashback Portable. It's in a portable Atari 2600. And this is the 2016 version, which I got earlier this year. And uh, it rocks as well. So let's, uh, let's set him aside. This is the 2017, the new one. Let's have a look at the 2016 Atari Flashback Portable ultimate classic portable player this is a portable Atari 2600 and if you like me and you grew up with these games this is going to be a delight uh, it has a lot of games on it and some uh, some home brews as well some homemade games made by Atari uh, Atari fans it comes with the console here and we have our d-pad over here comes with a uh, we can see the size of the screen there comes with a protective film that covers the screen so you want to take that off we have our Atari action button there and then all these other buttons which uh, were console switches on the Atari 2600 uh, that do various things. You got the select button, left and right difficulty switches. Uh, I believe this is a pause button and a TV type switch. Back during the 80s, if you had a black and white TV, you could uh, play Atari games on it and and switch it to black and white. We got our mm, start reset button and our menu button have a look at what else it has it's got a lithium-ion battery inside battery uh, battery power lasts for about four hours we've got a volume control little dial here a uh, SD card that you can put in there and I have an SD card in there I'll talk about that in a moment we got the uh, USB connector and an AV out connector. I suppose you could connect it to a TV if you wanted to. And this will light up when it's uh, when it's on and show you how much battery power there is. It lights up I think orange and then it lights up green when it's got full battery power. Okay, that's the Atari Here's the box, and then I already showed this, it just shows some of the games that come on it. And we get our instruction manual by AT Games, or AT Games. It's got 60 games built in, and you can do more on a uh, SD card. Also comes with this USB cable. Let's, let's get this. It's this type here. I believe that's the same. Is that the same type that the uh, PAP Game to Two uses? This 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 type that plugs into the unit. And I believe it's the same length as the one that comes with the PAP Game to. So you might want to get one that's longer. Now, you can plug this in. Plug this in here. Which way does it go? And then plug it, the USB, into your computer to charge it off of the computer. Or you can do what I did and get one of these. This came with a different gaming unit. Um, during 2017, I've been collecting uh, portable gaming uh, consoles and this has been a great year to uh, collect 
portable gaming consoles I got this with a different gaming unit you could probably get one uh, on Amazon and I picked this up at Amazon for $50 and this one was also $50 so this is a this is a hundred dollar investment here and for me personally it was worth every penny anyway uh, you can use this plug your USB in there and it goes the other way uh, plug it into a uh, power strip and use it as an AC adapter well that's that's what it is it's a, it's a USB adapter and use that to power your uh, um, portable gaming unit or use it to uh, uh, charge it up so I don't have to go out in the other room and plug it into the computer I can just uh, I got a power strip here in my room and I can just uh, plug it in and use it here so that's what it comes with let's set this aside and our on off switch is here so let's check this puppy out and, and see what kind of kind of games it has on oh the the SD card you can get an SD card I happen to have this left over from it's a 4GB Fujifilm hmm, SD card I had it left over from uh, when I was getting SD cards for the camera um, it's got a few stipulations uh, I think the max uh, capacity you can use is is 8 is that 8 MB or 8 GB um, what is this okay it's GB was that gigs gigabytes and then there's megabytes okay anyway what you can do is go to atariage.com you can go to atariage.com and it's a site run by uh, Atari fans uh, and there are still a lot of dedicated Atari fans out there and they have compiled a list of uh, all the games that that work with this and uh, you, you go on to atariage.com go to the the forums and search for flashback portable compatibility and then you you'll, there will be a message board post with a whole bunch of information about how to do this you get your you get your SD card and uh, plug it in your computer and then they've got a download with all the games that work on it uh, not all the games work on it um, the two-player games won't work this is a single-player experience so uh, anyway you go to atariage.com you know I'll, I'll I'll put a link in the description uh, of this video so, so that you can go there and check it out anyway you follow the instructions you got to format your SD card in a specific way and then uh, and then you can download all the games and then take the ones that you want and, and pu put them on there it's got a single download with all the games that work on it this has some of the games and then the rest will go on your SD card so I suggest getting an SD card to uh, to go along with this just a note about that anyway let's check this out let's uh, check out this puppy and see what games it has and stuff alright I got it framed up here the Atari flashback classic game console so uh, let's let's turn it off and back on there we go That's how it starts up, and then we got our menu here, and we use the D-pad to navigate. We've got Adventure, a classic game on the Atari 2600. 
Adventure 2, that's a new one. I haven't heard about that. Um, it's a different game. Pretty much the same game mechanics as Adventure. We got Air Raiders, Aqua Venture, and it shows a picture of the box on the side there. That's cool. Asteroids, that's a classic. Astro Blast. Atari Climber. Blackjack. Bowling. Let's keep it in the frame here. Breakout, that's a classic. Let me push left or right to, to cycle through the pages of games. Cannonball, Centipede, Circus Atari, Crystal Castles, Dark Cavern, Demons to Diamonds, Desert Falcon. So that's an interesting game. It's pretty hard though. Dodge em. Double Dunk. And we got the Sword Quest games. Earth World. Those aren't very good if you ask me. Fatal Run. That's another one I haven't heard of before. Some of these might be homebrews or they came out late. Later in the Atari uh, 2600 uh, lifespan. During the 80's. We got uh, Fire World. Sword Quest. Frog Pond. Three frog games. Frog Pond. Frogger. The arcade game. Let's check that out for a moment. Frogger. Mm. Frogger. Okay. Well, that's Frogger on the Atari 2600. Let's uh, exit the menu. Frogs and flies. Fun with numbers. Golf. Gravitar, my favorite, or one of my favorites. Gravitar. Hangman Haunted House. Haunted House 2. Millipede, that's a good one. Miniature Golf. Miss it, that must be a new one. Missile Command. Night Driver. Pong Sports. Radar Lock. Real Sports Basketball. Saboteur, that must be a new one. Some of these are new ones that I haven't heard of before. That's another new one. Save Mary. Secret Quest. That came out late in the Atari 2600's lifespan. Shield Shifter. That's another new one. Slot Machine. Solaris. Haven't heard of that. Space Attack. Starship. One of my favorites. After duking it out with aliens that can fight back, I like to just cruise in my spaceship shooting things. Star Strike. Stellar Track. Strip Off. Haven't heard of that. Submarine Commander. Super Breakout. Tempest. Let's check that out. Hmm. Now let's try it. And press start. Am I doing it? Oh, I got him somehow. Oh, I didn't get him.
not very good at this game. Part of my problem is I can't see what's going on through the, uh, the camera's uh, view screen. Well, that is Tempest on the Atari 2600. Let's move on. Video checkers. Video chess. I used to play that on my Atari 2600. Pinball. Sword Quest Waterworld. Wizard. That must be a new one. And everyone's favorite, Yars Revenge. Let's see. I pressed the wrong button. How do I get back to... Okay. Yars Revenge. Whoa. over there. There we go. Okay. This is a hard one. Keep it framed up there. Oh! Okay. Where's the missile? Okay. Oh! Oh no! I was trying to avoid it. Where's the missile? Okay, it's up here. Can I shoot those? Yeah. Okay, that missile and line them up. Oh, I missed. Whoa. Well, that is Yars Revenge. Let's move on. And a new one, Yars Return. Check this one out. Let's check this one out here. Press start. Whoa. Oh no, the swirly thing. Oh. Let's see, I'll go to the other side. Shoot out this. Shoot out that. Oh. Okay, go back. Get my missile. I need to go to the other side. Let's see. Go to the other side. And boom. And check out this next level. Okay. Oh my. This one's really cool. Gotta go to the other side. Those missiles are. Whoa. Missiles are coming. Gotta go to the other side. I'm gonna clear all this out. Okay. Well, that is Yars Return. A more challenging, more interesting 
Yar's Revenge Game. Oh, there's the squirrely thing. The missiles are coming. Let's go the other side. This is a good game. I like it. It's challenging. Gonna take a while to clear out this mess here. And there's the missiles. I'll go the other side. Swirly thing. Whoa, it barely missed me. Missiles. Oh, I can't shoot while I'm in the, the vortex there. That's a place where you're safe. That, that shiny... Uh, oh, I got hit. Try again. That shiny, uh, colorful rainbow area, is you're safe there. But not from the swirly thing. I don't think. I don't think you're safe there. You're just safe from the missiles. them come over here and then break away some more of this and break this okay let's get our missile there well there's more stuff on this side I got him. Got lucky. Out. Well, that's Yar's return. Is it Yar's return? Yeah. And those are the games on the Atari Flashback Portable. And then you can access your SD card. So get an SD card. I actually got one before this arrived. I ordered this from Amazon. Then I I, I had this this SD card put my games on it and uh, following the instructions at Atari age it works and you get all these games Pac-Man these are all my favorites Tutankham and you can play Miss Pac-Man there we go and someone at uh, Let's go back. Someone at Atari Age made Miss Pac-Man with a black background. I think that's nice. I can see it better. Monsters! Monster! Monsters! Monster! Eat that monster. Come here, you monsters. Okay. Come here, you monster. There's the cherries. Let's go up here. Get that. Oh. 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 I'm not doing good. I'm all out of power pellets. Okay. There. 
so you can get all these games including some Atari <coughs> 2600 homebrews like someone made gauntlet gauntlet on the 2600 Someone made another adventure, another uh, sequel to adventure. Anyway, we can get all these games. These are just the ones that I uh, put on there. Not all of them work. There are some that don't don't start up. And that is pretty much everything. Let me go back. That is pretty much everything on the Atari Flashback 2016. This is one of the coolest things ever. Um, as I mentioned, I love portable gaming consoles. I can sit in my room here uh, with it, and I don't have to have it... Uh, plugged into a TV. I don't have to have an elaborate gaming setup. Just me and my portable and I can I can plug it into a power strip next to my bed. I can uh, it's just more comfortable than uh, sitting in front of the PS2 and stuff like that. So that is the 2016 one. There's the box with Centipede and Frogger. It comes with 60 built-in games. Let's have a look at the 2017 version. I just recently picked this one up. And it has Pac-Man. It also has some Activision games on it. This one is the same deal. We get an instruction book. The, uh, the film that covers the screen. you got to take that off. And... USB cable for recharging the battery. It's the same deal. And it has some new games on it that the other one did not. So, let's check this puppy out. Here it is. I take the film off of this yeah we have our d-pad our reset button to go back to the menu start button all the same buttons it's pretty much the same deal and the volume control the SD card slot um, AV AV out out and to plug the USB in and this will light up when it's on so it's lighting up green because it's at full battery power so I'll get this one framed up and we'll have a look at this one okay here it is let's turn it off and back on we got our on off button here turn it back on Oops. Okay, this is the 2017 version. We have Adventure, Adventure 2 again, Air Raiders, Aqua Venture, a lot of the same games as Asteroids, Astro Blast, Atari Climber, Blackjack, Bowling, Breakout. Let's go to the next page. Cannonball, Centipede, Chase It. That must be a new one that I, I haven't heard of that. And you can, get, let's see, find more classics at www.atgamesus. Okay. Circus Atari, Crystal Castles, 
Dark Cavern, Demons to Diamonds, Desert Falcon, Dig Dog. That's that's one that the other one did not have on it. Dodge him. Double Dunk. Again with the Sword Quest games. Earth World. Fatal Run. Earth Fire World. Then we got our Frog games. Frog Pond. Our Frogger. Frogs and Flies. Fun with numbers. Galaxian. Now that's one that wouldn't work with uh, the other Atari Portable. So it's nice to have that. Ooh, I missed him. Got him. is Galaxian. Stop it. Go back to the menu. Golf. Gravitar. Favorite of mine. Hangman. Haunted House. Haunted House 2. A sequel that I've never heard of before. Kaboom. Millipede. Miniature Golf, Miss It, Missile Command, Night Driver, Pac-Man, well it's not the original Pac-Man, it's, uh, it's a new version of Pac-Man. my controls here. Oh, I didn't see him. see him. Well, they're flashing so much and I'm looking through the camera's uh, viewfinder which isn't as good as looking at the, at the screen. They flash a lot in this game. That's Pac-Man. Pitfall. You can play Pitfall.
Oh man. the crocodile's mouth. I did again. Well, that's Pitfall. Okay. Pong. Our video Olympics. Okay. Pressure cooker. Radar lock. River raid. Press the start button. River Raid. Real sports. Baseball. Is that base baseball? Saboteur. Save Mary. Secret Quest. Shield. Shifter. Slot Machine. Solaris. Space Attack. Stampede. Starship. Star Strike. Stellar Trek. Strip off submarine commander super breakout tempest video checkers video chess video pinball sword quest waterworld wizard Xevious Well Xevious on the Atari 2600. How about that? That's cool. And Yars Return and Yars Revenge. We just saw those. Now, will my SD card work? Let's uh, let's find out. Pac-Man here. Miss Pac-Man with a black background. Okay, it works. I've already seen that. <coughs> mm, sorry about that. So, get an SD card. And go to uh, Atari Age atariage.com and look at the instructions there for the flashback portable and get yourself an SD card you can have all the Atari 2600 games you want on the uh, either of these game consoles these are great let's put the boxes side by side there so the 2016 Put them side by side here. They're very similar. They have the same buttons, same size of screen. I don't know. Yeah, it looks looks like the same size of screen to me. Same size of screen, same it's, it's same stuff on it. It's just got. Uh, the 2016 one has different games and the 2017 one has some Activision games on it so that that's nice and 
and I think that is uh, everything that these portable gaming consoles do the Atari flashback portable I love this stuff it was really nice to be able to go back and uh, to my childhood and play all the games on the Atari 2600 and I enjoy them even more now some of them so that that is really nice this is a really nice uh, like I said fifty dollars for, for each of these you might be able to find it cheaper somewhere else if you can that's very cool but uh, for me it was worth every penny very very nice I had a, I have had a lot of fun uh, with this during the year purchased the purchase this one um, earlier in 2017 and I have used it quite a bit to play all my favorite games and stuff on the SD card there and uh, the buttons are or work work really well so that that works out the buttons on here seem to be pretty good as well so it seems to be well made so that is my review of these uh, portable gaming consoles we just love portable gaming consoles here at the Zix TV thank you for watching